welcome to the track. Now, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you are in the market for a great sports sedan. And you've come to the right place because today I'm comparing two excellent choices, the totally redesigned Acura TLX and the BMW 330i to find which one of these you should take home. Now, when it comes to buying a car, of course, looks matter. And when it comes to the BMW, it looks okay. Yeah, it's got some nice hood and body lines, but overall, it kind of looks like the exact same model as before. Sure, they kept those iconic kidney grills and the LED lights are standard, but when it comes to overall style, it's like we kind of seen this before. Once you get inside the 330i, you'll find an attractive and somewhat inviting cabin. The seats are pretty comfortable, a little bit firm, but still okay for my taste. And you can adjust them up to 14 different ways, which is also nice, but if you want them to be heated, you have to pay extra. Something you'll also notice is the nice touchscreen display, which is controlled through this jog dial here, but I don't know, it's kind of hard to navigate and play around with and figure out. It's just, it's just a little bit complicated. The display does include Apple CarPlay integration standard. Now, when it comes to safety and driver assist features, the BMW is a little bit skimpy. You get a few things like collision mitigation braking and forward collision warning, but if you want more, you're gonna have to upgrade to a costlier package. All right, now this is what a sports sedan should look like. This is the all new Acura TLX. It's been totally reimagined from the ground up, starting with the chassis and just wow. Now, right off the bat, you're gonna notice this car is lower and wider. It gives it more of that athletic and aggressive stance. Also, Acura lengthened the TLX. And from the side profile, you can really see that muscular hood and how the cabin's been pulled back to give the car more of a sporty coupe-like appearance. And it's sitting on larger alloy wheels. Now, the styling of this new TLX really kicks off up front with that chiseled hood. You, of course, have the diamond pentagon grille, the four-lamp jewel-eye LED headlights with new chicane daytime running lights, which look really cool. Then you've got the character lines that flow out of that and go all the way to the back to those muscular rear shoulders. In the back, you also have chicane LED taillights, which match the style from up front and those dual exhaust outlets. Oh, and we're just getting started. Let me show you how Acura's carried this sporty style to the interior. Welcome inside the completely redesigned Acura TLX. Impressive, right? It's premium, it's tech savvy, and the interior is really designed around the driver and the front seat passenger. So you've got this wide and high center console. You've got the wraparound instrument panel. It creates this defined space for both of the front seat occupants. Plus. Not to mention, the car is now wider, which gives you more hip, elbow, and shoulder room. And I really like what Acura's done on the inside here. Everything's exactly where you want it to be, starting with this really nice leather-wrapped steering wheel, and of course, paddle shifters right at your fingertips, giving you ultimate control. They have these heated leather sport seats, which are very comfortable and can be power adjusted up to 16 ways. They can also come with ventilation, and I don't know if you noticed this, but the contrast stitching and the piping on the seats really elevates the look of this. And there's plenty of useful space inside the center console, including two convenient USB ports, one for charging and one you can integrate with your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Standard, by the way, across all TLX trims. Oh, and speaking of phones, on some trims, you can use the wireless charger. And there's all kinds of other available tech as well, like a head-up display, a surround view camera, blind spot information system, and much more. And one of the things I really love from this interior here is the 10-inch display. It's beautiful, it's sharp, it's crisp, and it integrates with what I call the brilliant True Touchpad interface, which is really easy to use, which essentially means whatever you touch on the touchpad corresponds to the area on the screen. There's no fumbling around, learning a jog dial or a mouse or a scroll wheel. No, it's simple and it's smart. And if you're an audiophile, good news, you can now opt for the ELS Studio 3D Premium Audio System, which comes with 17 speakers throughout the car, including the ceiling, for a truly immersive experience, almost like you're in a music studio. And the immersion doesn't stop there, no. One of the coolest features on this new TLX is the available customizable cabin lighting system with up to 27 different themes. You can even pair it with your different drive modes, for a truly immersive driving experience. All right, so I know what you're wondering, what's under the hood? Well, I'm glad you asked. The new TLX comes with a new 272 horsepower VTEC turbo engine. It's very smooth and very quick. They're pairing it with a 10-speed automatic transmission and giving you paddle shifters on the inside so you are in charge of how much fun you wanna have. 
The new TLX is a premium sports sedan right down to its bones. It's been completely reimagined from the ground up on the most rigid body structure Acura's ever made, aside from that on the NSX supercar. That rigid structure, combined with the new front double wishbone suspension, means steering feel and cornering grip go to the next level. And, of course, when it's time to slow your roll, as it were, Acura has used a new electric servo braking system to give you incredibly responsive stopping power. And for the ultimate in control, the TLX offers available super handling all-wheel drive with industry-leading torque vectoring. That essentially means that the system distributes power from the front wheels to the back, and also to the left and to the right, which gives you sharper and more accurate turn in and improved traceability when cornering. Now, whether you opt for the front wheel drive or the super handling all wheel drive, you can always switch through your different drive modes on the fly. That'll make some big changes to the available adaptive dampers, the throttle, the transmission, the steering, even the interior lighting system if you opt for it. And we're not talking about subtle tweaks like on some brands. It's essentially like having the keys to three different cars. You can even set up your own settings and launch your individual drive mode at the push of a button. And of course, there's also safety and driver assistance features to talk about. And Acura doesn't make you upgrade to some expensive special safety package. No, it's called Acura Watch, and it includes collision mitigation braking, lane keeping assist, road departure mitigation, adaptive cruise control, traffic jam assist, and a whole lot more. And it's standard across all TLX trims. With most competitors, you're looking at paying thousands of dollars more for that tech. Now, the 330i does have some strong performance chops. It is a BMW, after all. And it's also fun to drive, much like the TLX. And they also both have a two-liter turbocharged engine. But the BMW has less horsepower. Also, it's only got an eight-speed transmission versus the Acura's 10. And when it comes to switching drive modes, there's not as much of a noticeable change as you get in the TLX. Well, it's the end of the day, and now comes the time to figure out which one of these comes out on top. The BMW 330i has some nice style to it, but it's far from groundbreaking. When it comes to the TLX, it's got exciting, fresh styling throughout, and the Acura has more power under the hood. Plus, when it comes to overall value, it's not even close. Roll the charts. So the new TLX speaks for itself. I mean, it's been completely reimagined with a fresh and athletic new look. I think Acura really nailed the interior and exterior design on this one. Plus, it's the quickest and best handling sports sedan Acura's ever made. And it comes loaded with a ton of great features just built right in. Talk about a clear winner, but hey, that's just what I think. You have to make your own decision. Head to Acura.com to learn more.